Welcome back to Design Republic. In today's tutorial, we are going to build a fully dynamic double-sided window block in AutoCAD, and it's going to completely change the way you design in 2D. This isn't just a regular window block, it's smart and flexible. You will be able to stretch it horizontally or vertically with a simple grip, flip it left or right, and even rotate it dynamically, all with just a few clicks. This kind of dynamic block is essential for speeding up your workflow, save a ton of time and effort. Without further ado, let's dive in. In order to create a dynamic window, we need to draw a window model first. If you are not interested, simply forward to the next part of our tutorial. So to create a window, we will type REC for rectangle on our keyboard, click and let's choose the dimensions of our window. I would like to go for 200 by 20. So now we have a window which is 20 centimeters wide and 200 centimeters has its length. The next thing we'll type REC again for rectangle to create the divider or the mullion of the window. And we will type this time 10, 20, enter. And we will place it as a divider at the center of our window. The next step we will type PL for polyline. And let's create the window frame or the window ending. Five units, enter. Let's go up to here and five again to the left side. Now, let's select our window frame ending, join, or it's already joined, sorry, it's a polyline. Let's choose offset and 2.5, the offset distance, hit enter and offset it. And now we need to close the frame or the ending of our windows, select the whole objects and G for join, enter. Now let's place it uh, on our window, one for here and select it and let's do a mirror and mirror it to the other side as well. So the only thing remaining is the um, lines or the representing the glass panel. Let me quickly change the color to cyan and go for L, enter, which is line and draw a line from here till here. And now let's do offset, sorry, offset. Yep, 2.5 is good. 2.5 up, 2.5 down, and let's delete this one. We don't need it. Let's select these two lines, MI for mirror, and mirror it to the other side, a resource object for sure, no. And the last thing we have to do, let's give it some sort of thickness to highlight the glass. And we probably could also highlight the uh, aluminum profile as well. And let's give it also a thickness of 0.3. So now we are done with our window model, but one more very, very important thing we need to do, we need to add a wipe out command, enter and choose the first point, the second point, the third point, and the fourth point in order to have the wipeout area. And for those of you who don't know what the wipeout command does, uh, at the end of the tutorial, we will see, I will just give you a quick explanation. As you see, it hides anything below it. So later on with ease, you can place it on the walls and it will directly create a cutout instead of using trim to create wall openings for our windows. Now we will choose draw order command inside of AutoCAD, hit enter and choose back. So our wipeout falls behind our window. Now we are ready to move on to our next part of our tutorial and start to learn how to create a dynamic window so that as we now we have the window model ready. Let me quickly change its color. Great. Let's move on to the next part and start to create a dynamic window. Now let's get to real business and start with the to convert this window model here to a dynamic window. Select the whole window on your keyboard, type block, and we will get the block definition dialog open. So firstly, let's give it a name. Let's type WIN. You are free to name it as you like and type dynamic 01. So window dynamic 01. Pick a point, choose any point on your window model. You are free to choose one. I would like to go for this endpoint. Select objects. I will select or we have to select all the objects of our window model, press enter. Make sure you have open in block editor tick and now hit OK and you will be guided to the block editor inside of AutoCAD. So now, to create a dynamic window, we will mainly work with parameters and actions. So firstly, let's move to parameters and find this one here, which adds a linear parameter to the block definition. Click on it and specify the first point and specify the second point. So we have now our first parameter, but we need to add an action to it in order for it to work. So we'll go to actions and find the stretch uh, action here. 
After activating it, click on, as you see AutoCAD is asking us, select a parameter. So we have this parameter for now, click on it. Now, specify parameter point to associate. We will choose this group point here, and then specify first corner of stretch frame, and specify the opposite corner of the stretch frame. And now we need to select the objects which should be included in the stretch command. Now, press enter, and as you see, we have uh, the stretch the, our first stretch action activated. So let us select this and go to PR for properties. Okay. And here, the first thing, number of groups, let's choose only, we need only one group. I don't need a group from both sides. One is enough. And let's rename it to length. Great. Now, if, let's quickly test out and see what we have done so far. If you go here to test block, click on it select the block and as you see we can with one simple click uh, stretch our window what i don't like currently is is not following along i would like always to have it at the center of the window model so let us do Control z and go back or close the test block and go back to our block editor to solve that problem so what we are going to do we will find again stretch so we'll choose again the stretch action, select the remitter, this one, the same process, this grip, and this one is very important. We will choose here our uh, stretch window and then select the objects and make sure to deselect what we don't need. We will only include the vertical divider and the glass panels line. So we are done, hit enter, and as you see, we got this one a stretch one, a stretch, and this one a stretch one, which we just created. So we will select it or click on it. And here in the properties panel, make sure you change the distance multiplier to 0.5. This is very important. And now let's go for test block and see if we have gotten our problem solved. So now if we stretch it, as you see, the window always, the divider stays at the center of the window. So let me one stretch it one more time, as you see it works perfectly fine. We are not done with our window, there is more to add, so let's do control set. We will add also a rotate parameter and a flip parameter, so we can with ease always rotate it and flip it, and also we will add a parameter to be able to stretch it vertically. So let's close test block, and select here, let's go for parameters, choose linear, and specify from this point to this point, okay? Great. Now we will go to actions, stretch, and select parameter as previously we have done so and learn it. So we will select this parameter and now specify parameter point. I would like to choose this one here. And now specify first corner of the uh, stretch frame. So this much is good. And now select objects as AutoCAD is asking us. So we will choose this amount of objects and press enter. Now let's select it and go for number of grips. Only we would like to have only one and let's rename it to width. Okay. Great. Now let's go to test block and see so far what we have done. As you see, it works perfectly fine. And this is very useful if you are working with different um wall thicknesses so for right now our default version if we take a simple dimension from here to here it's uh no sorry dim so this is our wipeout frame so from here till here our walls will be so it's uh, a window width is 20 units or 20 centimeters so in order for example when we have a uh, 40 Simply we will select our window and we can stretch it in order to match our different uh, wall thicknesses. In order if you are, for example, walls that are 20, 30 or 40 or 10 centimeters wide. So let's continue, close test block. And for that, allow me to ask you if you like so far my tutorial to like and subscribe. And if you are interested to have this model ready and use it in your drawings, I will leave a link in the description below to my Patreon where you can download it for a small fee. Your support, by the way, is highly, highly appreciated and motivates me to continue. Now, I would also like to add a parameter to 
always be able to rotate my window okay so we go to parameter and now rotation and find the center of the window so where you would like around which point you would like your window to rotate i would like to choose the center of the window and now click angle i think we should go for 90 let me enable sorry here the ortho mode yeah and click to 90 degrees now we see this error don't worry we go to actions and now rotate very simply we will click here on this parameter and select objects we need to select all the objects and hit enter one more thing let's quickly add also a flip uh, parameter again i would like to choose the center and now we will de decide its uh, uh its direction great and now we will move again to actions flip and choose our flip parameter select objects this is much easier than the stretch command hit enter and now i think we are done with adding our parameters let's test out our block so save the changes to window dynamic 01 yes so let me quickly create a rectangle okay and for example let's type 20 by uh, 400 units okay one vertical and let me create also one horizontal uh, wall great and let's test out our block okay so let me also do hatch hatch my wall so that you can exactly see why we created uh, the wipeout command so select it m for move enter and let's simply place it on our wall here draw order front great and as you see automatically the wipe command has created an opening without the need to draw lines here and uh, cut them out in order to create the window opening and with ease we can simply stretch our window to any size we would like to do so okay and always the mullion says at the center so select the window we have here this point sorry this one and we can as you see always 90 degree we can rotate our window so let me simply copy it to show you what we have done in this tutorial no no rotate sorry we will choose this point and rotate our window let me make this wall here a bit bigger and now let's simply copy it i think this point is nice and put it on our uh, wall so as you see it works perfectly fine and simply i can decrease the distance or increase it as much as i want okay that was it for our tutorial if you learned something please consider to like and subscribe and if you have any questions for me please let me know in the comment section and if you are interested to have this window model here you can download it from my patreon thanks for watching and see you in our upcoming tutorial